फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट मिस्टर वाइस चेयरमैन सर आई राइज टू सपोर्ट द सिक्स शेड्यूल टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बिल नाइनटीन एटी एट विच इज ब्रोट ऑन द फ्लोर ऑफ दिस हाउस सर इट इज अ वेलकम मेजर इन द राइट डायरेक्शन दिस बिल सीक्स टू डिवोल्व मोर पावर्स टू द डिस्ट्रिक्ट काउंसिल्स सर इन द डिस्ट्रिक्ट काउंसिल्स द मेंबर्स आर द ट्राइबल्स सर द फाउंडिंग फादर्स ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया थ्रू देयर विजडम एंड पोलिटिकल फोर साइट recognized the very delicate sentiments culture and traditions of the tribals they foreso that unless certain protections are given to the tribals in the management of their affairs they will be submerged in the process of normalization along with the most or more advanced people of the plains this aspect was recognized not only by the founding fathers of the constitution but by the alien rulers as well according to 1937 act certain areas of assam in the north eastern region were kept excluded to be looked after by the governor this was also a recognition to the very peculiar feature prevailing in the tribal area this was intended to protect the innocent tribals from being exploited by more advanced people of the plains so when the constitution was draft drafted this special provision was made to protect the interests of the tribals particularly in the north eastern region sir even before the drafting of the constitution of india the tribal in the north eastern region hesitated and they showed their resentment that when the british left the country they should be kept in such a way that their culture and their tradition are safeguarded when the sub committee of the constituent assembly in which brother basu was also a member when they visited kohima they were told that the nagas want a separate home in other words they do not want to lose their identities they want to preserve their culture they want to preserve their traditions similar is the case of mizoram meghalaya and other tribal areas in this amendment there are some features for which this house should not have an iota of doubts if you just look at the face of the bill a question would arise that when the entire state is predominantly tribal why should we have tribal councils that 
even among the tribals there are some minorities within tribals who have to be cared when we devolve powers in the district councils or at the grassroots levels it clearly shows the intention of the government to extend the democratic process even at the grassroots level so that this would give more opportunities to the people for deeper involvement in the scheme of things in the whole country if we all the time look at the tribals as backward and if we do not give opportunity to them to develop how can they be trained in the art of governance how can they be trained in running the affairs of their own state i feel that devolution of more powers to the local self government especially in the tribal areas is a very welcome feature and is in the right direction i am afraid that while giving more powers to the council if we do not again give them financial powers i think this will be like an anti drama without financial powers how can they manage therefore in the amendment i think you have rightly given more financial powers for the management of the district councils now a suspicion has arisen if we do not allow the legislators to attend the district council does it mean a distrust i do not think so even if the governor has to use his discretion he has to consult the council of ministers therefore the question of misuse of discretionary power by the governor i think would not arise and also use of discretion is own matters pertaining to the progress of these tribals and therefore we should not misconstrue the spirit of the amendment which we are having before us in tripura the tribals are the real inhabitants but because of historical reasons because of political reasons they are completely submerged by outside people and therefore specially for tripura a special provision to safeguard the interests of the tribals in matters of appointments in matters of law in matters of land in matters of their traditions and customs shall have to be worked out i would request the government to ensure that more protection and more safeguards are initiated especially for the tribal minorities of tripura after all in their own home they are finding themselves in a minority and therefore it is our moral obligation to ensure their safety their security 
and their future i do not want to dwell much on this i only wish that the district council in mizoram which has been envisaged in this amending bill works well the agreement with mr lal denga also clearly indicate that protection would be given to these minorities which is good it for the people here stop